Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie Roberts, and I'm here with Jimmy Valdez, our social media strategist at Erosti. Today, we are going to cover some exercises to get you warmed up for ice skating. It's important to warm up for ice skating in any activity, but particularly in ice skating, you are required to have strength, stability, and movement in all planes of motion, including front, side, and back. Doing a proper warm up allows you to have greater strength on the ice, better flexibility, improves your balance, and decreases the likelihood of injury. For this exercise, we're gonna do a full body movement to get you warmed up for ice skating. To start, bring your feet about hips width apart with your toes angled slightly out. Bring your arms out in front of you for balance. Slowly drop your hips towards your heels and pause when you get close to your heels. Place one elbow against your knee and raise the opposite arm up towards the sky. Be sure to watch your hand. Return that hand to center and perform the stretch with the opposite arm watching the hand. Return that hand to center and stand back up to complete the sequence. For optimal results, perform this entire sequence four to five times. For this exercise, we're gonna perform a dynamic movement to warm up the back of the thigh or the hamstring, the lower leg, and the ankle. To start, stand on one leg and re reach your opposite leg in front of you. Place your heel on the floor and lift your toe up. Slightly put a bend in the opposite knee and begin tapping the toe onto the floor. You should be feeling a slight stretch in the hamstring and activation of the lower part of this leg. For optimal results, perform this 12 to 15 times and be sure to do it on both sides. For this exercise, we're gonna perform a dynamic lunge sequence. To begin, step with one foot in front of you, dropping your opposite knee closer to the floor. Make sure your knee stays behind your toe. Come back up and return your foot to center. With that same leg, step out to the side and bend your knee slightly. Come back to center. With that same leg, step behind you, dropping your knee closer to the floor and return to center. Make sure this knee also stays behind your toe. To complete the sequence, perform that same exercise on the opposite leg. For optimal results, go through the entire sequence on both legs three to four times before getting on the ice. We hope this warm-up was helpful for you. Be sure to drop a comment below on the next activity that you'd like to see.